G'day, it's Bob Spencer here, and today I'm reviewing the Artist Guitars LP60 Pro Line Cherry Sunburst. It's Cherry and it's Sunburst Electric Guitar. At the time of this review, the retail price is $279, less than some pairs of pickups. We'll get to that. Today I'm playing through my Fractal FM3 processor using a, I guess, a kind of Marshall Plexi model. And the speaker impulse response you'll hear is an IR of uh, a scumbag speaker, which is my favourite kind of Celestian impulse response. Let's get to what the guitar is, is what it's made of. The body is Akumi or Akume. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, even though I have tried. I have Googled. Uh, it appears to be a one-piece body, but I don't think it is. I think it's a two-piece body, and it looks very much like the bodies from the 50s that we may know and may love. The top of the guitar is uh, a veneer of flame maple with a subtle flame. It's not really highly flamed, and that is a preference for me. I don't like a really highly flamed guitar. I don't know why. I think this looks more 50s than a really highly flamed instrument, and I like it. It's subtle and it's nice. It's a cherry colour. I hope you can see that on the video, and it looks very, very pretty. The neck is also Akumi, Akume. Kind of looks like mahogany from here, and it appears to be quite resilient, quite strong. It's not going anywhere. The profile of the neck is what I would call medium. It's not thin and it's not huge. I do prefer a really large neck and this is not like that. This is what I would call a medium neck. It's very comfortable for me. It's not uncomfortable. It's very comfortable. It's not really thin. I think that's a good thing. Um, the fretboard is Eco Rosewood. It's very, very well polished. And the fret crowns are beautifully polished and I can't see any file marks or scratches. The crowns are really, really well done and the guitar doesn't have any buzz. As it came to me, I haven't touched the action and it is playing really well. In fact, I wouldn't change the action on it. It's really good. It suits my hands very much. The scale length of the guitar is 24 and 3 quarters of an inch which is what Gibson generally used. It wasn't always that way. Things changed depending on maybe how they felt or the model of the guitar. 24 and 3 quarters, it's what you would know to be the, the regular Gibson sort of scale length. The fretboard radius is 12 inches or 305 millimetres. Again, very comfortable, not highly radiused, so that when you do bend, the strings do not deaden out as they would on a guitar with a very tight radius. Cast, um, die cast chrome machine heads, feeling really good, really good. In fact, they're better than some of the more expensive machine heads I have on guitars, some other guitars. Um, tunematic, tunematic bridge, intonation is really good. The curve at the bridge is almost perfect. Maybe five minutes and it would be perfect. I think that's acceptable. It's perfectly acceptable. Bone nut, beautifully cut and beautifully polished and beautifully curved. Not a thing wrong with that. Let's get to the pickups. These are what artist guitars call their bull bucker pickups. They appear to me to be a medium output pickup. They're not really high, they're not really low. A medium output with really great string separation. I think they're a really good sounding pickup. They also look lovely and they have a tiny little artist written on them. Very subtle, very good. Uh, two volume 
two tone controls as per this style of guitar that you're already familiar with. The weight of the body is somewhere around three kilos. It, it's a really resonant body. It's really resonant. I love that. My own guitars that I have custom made for me are all chambered now, not to do with the weight, but because I like the way the chambered bodies sound. This sort of sounds like a chambered body, but I checked with artist guitars and it's solid. It's a very lightweight wood that they've used. It's very resonant. I think it sounds fantastic. So a really resonant body. Um, some people like a really stiff sounding body. I'm not one of them. I like a guitar that does a little bit of singing by itself. As you would expect from this style of guitar, the neck is glued in, or as some people say these days, it's a set neck. We old blokes still say glued neck. And that neck isn't going anywhere. It's very strong. It's very strong. I've tried bending it a little bit and it doesn't bend. It's really good. So my overall impressions of the way it looks, it looks beautiful. There is one tiny smudge on the binding uh, above around the 17th fret. That smudge is maybe one millimeter by two millimeters. It's a little red smudge. Other than that, that tiny imperfection, I can't see another mark on the guitar. It's perfect. It's beautifully finished and beautifully set up. Um, the action as it was presented to me, as I said, is is really great. I wouldn't be doing anything except um, that little bit of work on the tunematic bridge and maybe changing the string gauge because this gauge doesn't suit me. It's all personal choice. Speaking of personal choice, glued neck versus bolt neck, it's, again, personal choice. Um, I like both of them for different reasons on different guitars and I think that whole thing is a bit of a non-issue. Um, I may be at odds with traditionalists, but that's the way it goes. I trust my ears. Uh, let's have a listen to the guitar plugged in. Here's the rear pickup, volume full and tone on full. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Tone off, completely off. Now that capacitor value is too big for my purposes. If it were my guitar, I would be putting a smaller value capacitor in there. For me, it bleeds off too much top end. Let's have a listen to that again. And off completely. Now, of course, you could put the tone control somewhere in between full and halfway. That does change the way that the signal travels down the cable. It um, it changes the peak frequent. It changes the resonant frequency of what's going on. It's so, for me, I would put in a smaller capacitor. It's not a deal breaker whatsoever. Front pickup. Volume full, tone full. And tone off completely. That sounds pretty good to me. Possibly a smaller value cap, but again, these are these are small things. Uh, my reviews are honest, so I will mention a small thing that I think you can change, or if it's impossible, then it's a deal breaker. These are not deal breakers. They're tiny little things that you can frig with yourself. Try not to burn your fingers with a soldering iron. Middle position, both volumes on full, both tones on full. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's turn them both down a bit to get that cleaner. I don't like a dirty sound with both pickups. Much more acceptable. And of course you can turn the tone controls down with both pickups. Uh, just for fun. Both pickups, but with the tone control of the rear pickup turned off completely. Back on full. Lots of good usable sounds there. Uh, bear in mind that when you're using the middle position of the switch, which I didn't mention earlier, I think we can all see it, um, is that the volume controls become somewhat interactive. Now, please bear that in mind when you're setting up your tones. Okay, so my overall impression of the guitar is a really good one, and it's it represents, as we're finding for usual, uh, usual for artist guitars, it represents killer uh, value for money, $279 at the time of this review. It's beautiful to play. It sounds fabulous acoustically. Um, and the, the price of the guitar is less than many of the pickups that I use. It's kind of faultless, really. I think you'd be really happy with this guitar, regardless of the level of your playing. I'm not sure that that has any bearing on anything, by the way, but maybe that's a topic for another video. The knobs look great, traditional looking knobs. Output jack, traditional. Cream plastic, cream plastic pickguard. I, I want to mention that the strap holders are quite a lot uh, the diameter is larger than regular ones. That's great because I have seen a number of Les Pauls mm -hmm. fall off uh, guitar straps, including my old my old gold top, which uh, the neck of which I snapped because of that very thing in 1970 something uh, vintage gold top. Yay, yay, Bob. Um, Great guitar, great value for money. The Artist Guitars LP60 Pro Line Cherry Sunburst Electric Guitar. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Ciao.